Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's already a hot one here on Come On Mountain. We are out here moving and grooving, guys. Moving and grooving. This is day four of the dozer on here. We're making some progress. sneak peek little sneak peek I got uber over here warming up me and him talked yesterday he's clearing out a lot of the undergrowth over here we're leaving a lot of bigger trees over here in this area but uh, the ones that I want to take up I'm going to use tobacco and dig up around there it makes it easier for him to push and uh, save some time but uh yeah we're starting to get the view that I wanted it's been a it's been a busy busy three days so far and today is going to be a big one today i should be able to have the final view of the mountain so that's exciting hopefully we don't have to come back for day five but we'll see might have to have to do a couple hours for day five maybe not we'll see where we're at at the end of the day hopefully we can get it because it's a uh, it's expensive give y'all a little bit of sneak peeks so what we're doing I'm taking it all the way to this tree stump right here where we cut this big widow maker down and kind of bringing it right through here I want to leave all of this green because the road that goes down to the power line is right there and I want to keep some privacy because my neighbors do use this road to check on their cows and hay sometimes just to keep the privacy over here in this section right here he is definitely definitely making some progress over here for sure yesterday i went ahead and moved the breeder rabbits over here by the goats got them out of the way so they're over there in a nice shaded area it works out better that way it keeps all of this clear but it is definitely opening it up this right here is what I mean where the road is I want to keep a little bit of foliage uh, foliage over here that way you don't just see up in the cabin area as you can see it kind of blocks it off and also I like the way this road looks with the shade and the branches and stuff going over there even in the hottest part of the day it's real nice on this street right here take y'all back to the back give y'all another little sneak peek dozer one video should come out today as long as I don't have no troubles uploading to YouTube like I did last week with the checks and stuff and then uh, it'll basically be a four-part series. Kind of moving all along this. A lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of filming. A lot of footage. Y'all walked down here with me a ton. Here's the creek. I had him clear out a little section right here. And leave some of the trees for shade because across the street is where the pond's gonna go so it'd be nice to have a nice little uh, grilling area right here where the creek comes across when it's flowing it'll be a nice place to set up have some barbecues and stuff and be able to enjoy the lake or the pond as well give you a little perspective here in a minute of how much has been cleared out I'm wearing my Crocs and shorts, so see if I could do this without cutting myself up on all these briars. Find the clear path, David. Find the clear path. And look at all the mountains of cedars, guys. I'm going to be cutting with a chainsaw forever with all these cedars, but I don't want them to go to waste. So I'm going to do what I need to do. Look at this, though, guys. 
Look how much has been cleared. All the way to the property line, way over there and through here. And if you look right over there is the tiny house and the temporary sheds and stuff. So it is a ton. A ton. He has been doing his thing with that little 450 John Deere. For sure. He's doing real good work. Uh, I will be uh, end up getting all of his contact information and putting it uh, in the description of the Dozer Series video. That way if anybody wants to hire him, they can because he's a real good guy. Look at this. Insane, guys. Insane. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm definitely, definitely happy. Definitely going to have a lot of area for new structures, a lot of area for pastures and stuff like that to bring in more animals and to make it where they're a lot more comfortable. And when you can see all the stuff stacked up behind me, and also over here, it's all stacked up. It's going to be a lot of work uh, cutting up all these cedars and defense posts and stuff like that, but it's going to save me a lot of money on the fence project. It's just going to take some time to get it all done. And uh, right now, I'd rather put the time in and save the money because my brother just did his five acres down there and uh, he had to buy everything. I think it ended up costing him like $27,000 or something like that right now fencing is really really high right now really high to get some good quality fence and poster very very expensive too so i'm gonna uh utilize what i got and also i like the way the cedar post look so it's just gonna take some time my plan is is from here on out until winter just uh and even during winter a little bit probably it's just in the mornings and the evenings come out here and just start cutting and and de-limbing and cutting them into sections and stacking them and stuff and just slowly but surely just work my way through them all and then uh burn all of the other stuff but now i got space to burn y'all are getting a big sneak peek today guys hope y'all enjoy it let me know in the comments if y'all like all the sneaking peeking but don't let the sneak peek stop you from watching the main videos on Come On Homesteading because that's how I do this stuff right here. And it's definitely a lot more detailed for sure. Yep, right here we would not be walking through <laughs> a couple days ago. But now I can walk on through with no problem. I love it. Love it. I'm happy. I've been smiling for couple days now guys it's been hot it's been like a hundred degrees plus with a lot of humidity but just been out here smiling enjoying it and uh i haven't had to do as much work with uber as i thought i was gonna have to do today is probably gonna be the main day and yesterday was a little bit uh he's pretty much been handling it uber would have just been in the way with a lot of it I didn't want to uh, try to work too close with him when he was pushing down trees and stuff like that and him having to wait on me and everything. So I've been trying to stay out of the way as much as possible and kind of work on the outer edges as much as possible. Whew, happy though. Uh, well, as the rest of the week, guys, this ain't going to be a very long one. Uber's warmed up and ready to go. And I need to get on the back of controls and start digging them out. So when he's done clearing this last little bit of thicket right here, we can start pushing down the big trees because they take some time. All right, guys. Love every single one of y'all. Take another step closer to your goal. Do something nice for somebody, but keep it real. Come on. <laughs>